back then. These parents lost their twin toddlers in a babysitter's pool last month in Tennessee. It was the worst day that I will ever have in my life. Weeks earlier, Olympic skier Bodie Miller lost his baby daughter. 19-month-old Emmy drowned in a neighbor's pool. Nicole Hughes' three-year-old son Levi drowned on the same day at a hotel in Alabama. We got down there so fast. I mean, I was sprinting down the stairs. Someone jumped in the water. He was out. They started CPR. According to the CDC, drowning is the number one cause of accidental death for children ages one to four. Last summer alone, 112 kids under five died in swimming pools. Josh Lockwood is with the American Red Cross and says a child near a pool needs constant supervision. You also want a fence around all four sides of the pool and that should be four feet tall. And that uh, pool fence should have a self-latching door so that a child can't just wander in and open it up themselves. He says ladders or steps should be child-proofed and recommends a pool alarm, which sends an alert when someone enters the water. It's becoming more and more common. It's a great idea. And he suggests starting swimming lessons early. Every person going in the water should be able to jump in of their own accord, resurface, be able to turn around in a full circle, uh, be able to tread water for a minute. Lockwood says with each tragedy, the only silver lining is the opportunity to remind parents of the pool guidelines. That could make the difference between life and death. In Adoba, CBS News, New York.